Hi, I'm David at Seismic Rocks, and today I'd like to talk about how to make a file executable. We'll start with an empty file. To make an empty file, I go touch, call it zoro.fox. And we see here that I have a zero.fox. Empty file, zero here, and the dash here means this is a file. So these also are files, and they have a dash. The D here means this is a directory. All of these are Ds, they're directories. So after the dash, we have triplets. In this case, uh, for this empty file, it's rw blank. This is the user permissions. Read, write, no execute. This is group. So df is the user. And in this case, because I'm the only one in this computer, df is also the group. So the group permissions are the same as the user in this case. Read, write, no execute permission. And other, which I sometimes think of as world, but other is read permission only because there's no write and no execute permissions here. Now these have symbols, RW, and it would be execute for an executable symbol. So read, write, and no execute, read, write, no execute, read, no write, no execute. The PDF that accompanies this video has a example here I'd like to show you. And so <clears throat> this is a combination of looking at it kind of horizontally and vertically. Sorry if this is hard to get used to, but read, write, execute. So that was the triplets here under user, which we also see here. Read, write, no execute. Read, write, no execute. The group is the same permissions. Read, yes, write, yes, execute, no. And then other has read yes, write no, and execute no. And these have numerical equivalents. So read is four, write is two, execute as one point. So that means that user in the numerical representation is six, four plus two plus zero. And the group is also 4 plus 2 plus 0. And other is 4 plus 0 plus 0. And that's what we have here. So another way of looking at this, these permissions is, <coughs> excuse me, is a numerical equivalent of 664. If I want to add the execute permission to this file, I would use the change mode, or chmod as I pronounce it, but I want to change the mode of the file. I want to change its permissions. The plus x changes the permissions for all three, uh, all three groups, user, group, and other. Sorry to use the word again. Using the numerical equivalent, then I would use 775. So I'd add 1 to the 6, 1 to the 6, and 1 to other. And in doing that, still write is not permitted in the other category. I could, I could do 777, and let's go ahead and do something like this. So... We have an empty file, as I say, 0.fox. And the reason I call it fox in this particular case is because I want to emphasize that uh, Linux doesn't care what the suffix is, doesn't care if the file has a suffix. The contents of the file is up to the user. Linux doesn't really care how you name a file. So let me go ahead and, and uh, move this file, rename it to the standard name of a script file, sh, since I'll be making this into a script file. Oops. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's try that again. 
Zor.sh. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me change the permission of this as we showed earlier. So change the mode and 775 zero.sh and we see now that it's an executable file with read write execute, read write execute, read no write execute. I could include the write permission for other and now it's all the way across. Let's put some content in here. Um, I have another file zazdf.gumbo and I'm going to copy the contents of zazdf. Let's find out what that is. It's uh, echo command of and then executes the pwd command and then echoes uh, a simple line. So I'm going to put content into 0.sh by copying the contents Oops. So now we have contents, and if we do LL, we'll see that indeed they have the same number of bytes. So it's executable, so let's run it. It says command not found, but I'm looking at it, right? It's in my user directory right here. It's right in front of me. Why can't I run it? Because it's not in my path. Things that are in my path, I can run immediately. What is a path? Well, remember that I just used a uh, a, uh, a move command when I renamed 0.fox to 0.sh. Where is the move command? The move command is in user bin. Okay. So what is this thing called path? So I'm going to echo the path to the screen. And we see that there are a bunch of directories in my path. Separated by colons, these are all directories that are in my path. And we saw here, user bin is here in my path. And my personal directory that is user slash slash user slash df. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Slash home slash df where I am is not in the path, so it doesn't immediately find things because they're not in the path because zero sh is not in my path. Then I have to specify the location. Well, it's here. So dot dot slash means here. 0.sh executed and it executes. If I don't happen to be here, so let me go ahead and move to some other place in the system and I want to execute 0.sh, I have to give the path to it and so I'll say it's over there in my home directory or it's over there in my home directory. All right, well, that about wraps it up for what I wanted to show you. Thanks a lot for your time, and I'll see you next time.